been watching highlights of the Chiefs. After every play they show <laughs> Taylor Swift, it's hilarious. <laughs> It's a really nice, rare, rainy morning here at the A-frame. Camp woke up very early because he's been, as he has aged, getting a lot more anxious with thunderstorms and gunshots and loud noises building the house and everything. He's kind of scared. I think it's just from the two weeks that he spent with his grandparents. <laughs> he got so spoiled that now he doesn't, he just like, will shake a little bit and then get whatever he wants. Baron thinks he's emotionally abusing us. Manipulating at least. Can you hear the rain on the tin? Mm -hmm. uh, I know that you can. <laughs> it sounds so nice in here when it's raining. Pilot eats three cups of food a day. This is a half cup, so six of these scoops, and then a pound of a raw meat blend that I buy for her. So about half kibble, half raw. Camp eats full raw because he's older and because he's smaller, so it's just a fraction of the cost for him. Something that we really have to work on with Pilot, because we haven't had a puppy in a long time, Camp is almost 10 years old now, is she has to be mentally and physically enriched at like all times, otherwise she's just the most obnoxious thing in the world. Our friend Susie gave us this ball, and so a lot of times I'll put Pilot's kibble into the mouth of this ball, and then she'll have to knock it around to get the food to come out. And a lot of people criticize this feeding bowl, these type of enrichment bowls, or slow feeders. This helps big dogs, crazy food motivated dogs, slow down when they eat, but it also stimulates their mind. And mental stimulation can be a lot more tiring than even physical stimulation. So we will put this in here for Pilot. Come here, come here. Sit. Good sit. It takes her maybe 10 minutes to eat this way, five minutes in the slow feeder and two seconds in a, a, a normal bowl. I did not show the progress here on YouTube, but I did kind of keep people on Instagram updated. I've been working on this big ass statement ring that I finally finished. I went to a big gem show in Denver with Baron's mom and got this stone. It was a $60 stone and turned it into a statement ring for myself. I love it. I love You want a bigger trowel? Nope. But see, this is what I like about this this uh, insulation. It's just completely solid. There's no give to it. See how that wiggles? Uh -huh. Now watch this when I go over this. See how that? How that stuck there? But it's stuck because there's something solid behind it. You love it, man. I love doing this. <laughs> James said we could knock this out with a small crew of people that didn't know what they were doing <laughs> in a day. Matt, who was a mason and did stucco for a long time professionally, said we'd be lucky if we could do it in a week. 
So that just got James more fired up. Hey, so now he's trying to prove that he could do it himself in a day. <laughs> and I'm just, Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> and Doreen says don't encourage him, but I figure we might as well feed his ego as best we can, see how far he can get. <laughs> Done? Huh? I got the whole house done? Look at how much you got done in 15 minutes. Wow. Are you impressed? I'm impressed. James said, I don't know if she'll be <laughs> impressed or mad. <laughs> I'm impressed. Always, he always impresses me. So you think you could do it in a day? Yep. You think you could, Barry? I mean, I'm starting to think we'll just feed him Red Bulls and mud. And <laughs> finished the outside for the year. I am so excited, but I can't make excited noises because I'm so tired. It looks awesome too. Maybe not to somebody who's a professional stuccoist, but it's one of those times where like, I wish I could cry because I feel like that would feel good. <laughs> like now we can clean up like all this like construction junk and all the stuff that we need for um, concrete and all that. We can like get that out of the way and we can actually start moving on the inside and moving in. I splattered a whole bunch of concrete in my eye today and it doesn't feel good. Is it not as red as it was? No, it is. It's still as red as it was. I washed, I think it's like clear of debris and everything now, but. Oh. I'm making squash in the Instant Pot. Oh yeah. Buddy? What do you need? I'm cold. I'm cold. I'm gonna put a chunk of butter in each one, a little salt, and a little maple syrup. Right there in the middle. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. What are you doing? You're gonna about to eat this squash. I'm gonna what? I'm about to eat this squash. What? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that's really good. We need to grow this. Mm-hmm. Did it come with seeds? Mm-hmm. Did you keep them? Mm-hmm. You did? Mm-mm. What the egg? <laughs> Liar. <laughs> <laughs> that's really good. You can add more maple syrup or, but I mean, it, you can keep it healthy by not doing that. Well, it's already pretty sweet. Mm-hmm. Well, I added maple syrup to it mm. twice.
I have this big huge plan today to do a bunch of meal prep. We still have some venison that we need to eat up before Baron brings in some more deer next week. <clears throat> He's going to Texas again. Uh, the plan is for him to bring back three deer that we're going to process ourselves again. Really excited about that. But it's pretty cold today so I might only do a little bit of what I'd planned. I've got venison thawing in some water right now. The plan is to make venison soup with a bunch of veggies and a bunch of ground venison that I put taco seasoning on because I'll eat that with rice or veggies or quesadillas. It's just nice to have that in the fridge. <laughs> in the fridge. I feel like I've lived so long without a fridge. I'm eating a snack right now. I got the uh, idea to show you what I'm eating because I'm watching YouTube videos of ours where I talk about what I'm eating. Seems on brand. Eating some cheese and crackers. This is delicious. You can get this at Natural Grocers. Super creamy with a little spice from uh, the chilies. And some oysters. These are great for fertility. They're packed with nutrients and protein. And then just a bag of raw spinach that I would cook if it wasn't so windy out. My hormones are still pretty crazy after the miscarriage. I think I did have a period. Hard to tell because I was bleeding for so long. But we do absolutely want to try again soon. Not that soon though. I feel like I need to kind of like mentally get my shit together <laughs> before I jump back into that. But we're both doing all that we can to make sure that we are helping our sperm and egg quality so that we can go into the next round in tip top shape. <sighs> mentally and physically. I was thinking we'd maybe try again November, December. Now I'm kind of thinking <laughs> January, February at the earliest. And I don't know how in the loop I'll keep you guys. It'll either be you'll know every last detail or you won't know until second trimester. I haven't decided. It was pretty hard talking about the miscarriage. And I feel like I... We'll see. It probably needs more soy sauce. Okay. Get some more for sushi. It's good. Fried rice. Okay, today's the day that I am doing our kind of meal prep. It's not so much meal prep, it's making a meal and putting it in the freezer. I got three new glass Tupperware containers. We don't have more than that because we don't have a place to store them and it's really hard to keep them totally clean without running water. We can like wash them out but they're never super crystal clear. Yeah. Oh no! Ugh. The broth is under the bench. Ugh. This is where we keep all of our like bulk food that we don't access daily. I get under here every three days or so. Come on. Okay. This venison soup is the easiest thing to make in an instant pot. The venison could be replaced with chicken, with beef, with elk, whatever you're lucky enough to have on hand. I have a pan up here of two pounds of ground venison. Ow! It's cooked. I add that in very last. Right here I have my vegetables. It's broccoli, a purple sweet potato, carrot, parsley from the garden, and purple cabbage. Trying to get as much color as I can. And I also have some chopped up kale that I'll add at the very end with the meat. You can throw anything that you want in here. Oh, I have a jalapeno in here too. I put in a really solid chunk of butter, a teaspoon and a half of salt, and I typically add more later if it needs it. 
Rosemary is really, really delicious with venison, as is thyme. Garlic powder, onion powder, and today I'm gonna use organic beef broth. Sometimes I use bone broth. I don't usually use chicken broth because it makes soup taste like chicken noodle soup. And when I'm making this type of more savory venison soup, that's not really what I'm after. Then I will fill this up with water. It's about halfway full. I think adding water is nice. Uh, the broth is already so rich that, I mean, you could use more broth if you wanted to. I just use water. Then we stir it. Put the lid on, set it to seal, pressure cook. And when I have potatoes, I pressure cook for five or six minutes. Make sure that they're all done. So now this is on, building up pressure. It'll cook for six minutes and I will steam release. Then I'll show you what I do next. Okay. <laughs> pressure cook is done. I always release it outside or else it makes inside smell like soup. Okay, this is a point when I add the meat back in. I've found that if I cook the meat in the Instant Pot with the soup, the meat gets really, really chewy from being too cooked. And then I add the kale last, because if this gets super cooked, then it's just mush. I really like to add noodles, but it's kind of hard in the Instant Pot because they also turn to mush, so we usually don't. Look at that purple soup! It's purple. Oh. Why is it spicy? <sighs> there was a girl a few videos ago. She was wearing a blue shirt. Her name is Bonnie. She was playing music. Uh, that was maybe the fourth time she's been on our YouTube channel. In the last four or five years, she just died in a car accident on her way home from work as an EMT. She was such a cool person. And a couple years ago, she and a friend came to stay with us at the hot springs that we were staying at. And we recorded a song of theirs. She was a, an incredible musician. One of those musicians who she never goes anywhere without an instrument kind of musicians. The plan had always, always been for her to sing at our wedding. Life is wild. But I'm going to leave that song at the end of this video as a tribute to Bonnie. She touched the lives of so many people. Thank you for watching this video. We'll end it here with this gift of Bonnie's voice on video. One, two, ready, go.